So, welcome to the semi-finals of the winner bracket of the YMCA Open RA Fork World Championship 2023. And with me is Pear. Hello. And um, let's just go directly into the game, I'd say. So this is Carl M versus Lourdes Fergenug. Uh, Carl M is on the lower left with purple and playing the screen. And um, Lourdes Fergenug as Sexy Sexman is uh, on the top right playing not market. The big question now is will Carl do his standard tactic? Uh, what do you think is his standard tactic? No, yeah, um, building a lot of units, then rushing in, um, killing the, the harvesters on the one side, then going to the other side. Mm -hmm. killing all the harvesters. Um, so, what, what you meaning is um, his screen uh, early rush with fast units? Yes. yes. Uh, so, because I think his default tactic is more like building a huge air blob of screen. Oh, yes, that's also an option. But Booming. It's basically Echo, echo pumping into air blob because the it's, air blob is almost unstoppable. It's basically the same but with other units. But I think for the tournament he decided to go the rush route more often because it's just more solid and not as uh, error prone or like susceptible to rushes. When yeah, he rushes himself it just wipes out many players directly I think. Mm. Because the air tactic is very error prone against uh, rocket launchers, for example. Yes, can be. Mm. And now the, the question is, is Slaughter's fair enough uh, prepared for that? And he, I think he should be. I think he is not. I think he, he, he knows he's going to rush. But at that point in the tournament, it, I mean, we're not super early, but... Lord Svergenuk has not seen the game probably that Carl M already played uh, and um, no. the interlopers have shown a, a tremendous strength over the tournament an unexpected strength that was not known so beforehand this play style with a with a heavy heavy load on interlopers and here come the ones that sneak in on the top Oh, yes. While here might be another battle going on soon that it's not going to end well for yellow. So here we see Harvester being lost already. One Harvester down. Oh. And he's now reacting and second Harvester down. That's that's already a heavy loss. He just takes takes the advantage and goes. This is not yeah. winnable here for, for the yellow one. But we already see that the echo of yellow is, is exploding so much more. Mm. But now with the uh, with the lost harvesters, it's mm -hmm. going to catch up for mm. sure. Yeah. Both have no. Oh, he has five, six yeah, harvesters. Yeah. Yellow has five. Yeah, it's going to be an um, exciting game, I guess. Mm. So now that he's pumping out light tanks, like crazy. Mm. Already preparing for the attack by getting more towers. So I think Yellow is absolutely scared by the first attack yeah. and shits his pants. Mm. Not expecting him from here again, I guess. So he's moving oh. down. Ah, could moving away the tanks. This could also seal his coffin. Maybe a bit of scouting would have been a good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just distributing some, some riflers, some minigunners here and there uh, would have helped. Now he that's... needs to turn around. He does the turn around. It's absolutely critical. And he he goes for the for the power plants. I think Yellow is lucky here that he does not focus on the harvesters. Because the towers, it's nice to kill them. I think Yellow a uh, purple just thinks he's going to overwhelm him anyway. But that's not the case now. So now we see yellow is catching up. I think the army craft of purple should drop a lot, but he's back down to five harvesters. That's not going to end well, I guess. Here we see already three, 
4, 5, 6, 7, 7 harvesters. That's a big difference. The f he's forcing the fight. He's going to lose but, that one, I guess. But yellow has the second MCU. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's even the third, third. Oh, the third already. He goes an obelisk up, but where are his units? I think he expected a win in this fight, and now he's down with no units. And yeah. I don't know if he can recover from that. The obelisk will be down soon, even though these don't do much damage. There's just not enough that helps in this combat. Now come more laser turrets. I think gun turrets would have been the better option here. Maybe. There's just no infantry. Oh, but he has so many harvesters now. Um, can you show me? Uh, yeah, 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 I switched it already. It, I oh. think yellow defended this, but there's the next onslaught coming. Oh my lord. Mm. He's using his production speed to pump out these laser turrets. I think the gun turrets would be a better choice here. And Carlos again, very pushy, like always. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Mm -hmm. he's, it's not just rushing, he's just bruising. He's just but in pushing bugs. in like crazy. No tacking at all. I mean, he does not even have a nerve center, so no radar for him. He's just still building the basic no units. No radar. No radar. I think he's mostly forgetting his base. Because he could just build more refiners and more war factors if he did not want to tech tech up. So I think yeah. he's mostly forgetting yeah. the base. And just focusing on doing as much harm here as possible, which looks good. But with not forgetting his base, I think would be much stronger. Invest some time power. in the base. Sorry for interrupting. What is it? Not enough power for yellow. Yeah, I mean yellow has not has not uh, been. Yeah, and 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 he's again doing the classic attacking on mm. one side, mm -hmm. having mm -hmm. the enemy's unit mm -hmm. move to that side, and then coming from. I the mean, other he's side. absolutely controlling that game. Yes, yes, but he's doing that all the time, like when I play against him he's doing that and I'm already prepared and have units ready yeah and that now he's fleeing and going to the other side again that's true oh my god there's so many are coming of these fuckers oh. and they gonna catch the other oh, harvesters oh my god it's going to be horrible but now why is he turning around Oh, there come the flame tanks with yeah, Reflector. Look, look, look. Oh, this is going to be interesting. But they are not in place. They are just... Chasing. Well, 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 this will be so close. I mean, Purple, ha again, has so many t of, of the interlopers. The Reflector armor here against this interloper laser, this will be a game changer. An absolute... Oh, there goes up another obelisk. And this time the obelisk has an army with it. The harvesters are safe to the bottom. Still, it's just four or five left. So the echo of yellow is plummeting. But he is he is going oh into God. confrontation and not just raiding yeah, the base. Yeah, yeah, he cannot confront this this reflector. I mean, see how many shots the reflector takes? It's insane. It's absolutely yeah. insane. Oh, so now no. he's now he's up also with the scorpion tanks. I think even though it looks grim for yellow, it's going to turn. He's going to turn the game around now. Yeah, and if he builds other reflector units. Yeah, the, the combination of reflector units for tanking these lasers and scorpion tanks for pumping out the damage mm. is going to make it still no tanking at all for purple. Oh, but don't take this fight, man. You're so outnumbered. Um, oh, this is very, very self... Okay, okay, he retreats because this is too self-confident. He needs to retreat this, use the obelisk, get some reinforcements in. Maybe one more. Yeah, yeah. Wow, that, this is... Also, he must he must avoid the flame tanks and shoot shoot the scorpion tanks first, I think. Mm. He's just a tank moving in, but yeah. And how about tunk, tunk. Um, the base? What do you um, mean? Carl's base. I think it's the same. I mean, there's some more warp spheres here, but this is he's not taking up, he's not developing his base. 
Yeah. I think uh, no. if he goes on doing this forever, it's going to have a bad ending for Purple. Mm. Because the armies, even though Yellows is much smaller, it's already winning because it's so much more adapted. Mm. It's an it absolute a, counter. At this time, he only caught one one harvester, right? And there's oh, more scorpion. Yeah, yeah, and you you move the the harvesters away. Yeah, yeah, but then here, the refineries t t taking them down is also not too bad. Mm. But I think, did you see the the waves of the yellow economy? <laughs> yeah, I see. It. If you look at the army craft, I mean, there is still a huge gap. A huge gap. Yeah, but uh, but yellow is dealing. I think I mean purple would easily win this if he just transitions into higher higher tiered units and not stay on this low tier units. But now we, we see the seekers in there. A seeker with reflector would also yeah would have been a good idea, but they would um, stop the would stop the scorpions here. Yeah. But, but then uh, yellow could build some. So now I think the army value will also drop like crazy. Uh, this is amazing. Yellow has turned this game around. Mm, has does yellow um, have the, the the very good SM launchers? Yes. No. Will, will he build some? I don't know. Uh, I think it's not even necessary against this army, but it's possible. Mm. Well, it would have been a reaction um, if um, purple. The problem is, reflector seekers. The flame tanks are not too bad against light. It's not effective, but it's not very low effective. So, the flame tanks against the seekers are okay. Not too bad. But okay, yeah, with the seekers in this army, it's going to it's a bit better now. So maybe go oh here these are doing nothing no now they are doing dealing damage and getting some value this game is ex is very close it's so exciting mm. normally pa purple should win this game easily yeah but but most of the time uh, um, most of the game is happening in yellow's base and that's not good for yellow actually. yeah that's absolutely bad but i think this is the reason why yellow is able to get his economy back up develop his base because he does not have to scroll around and do things yeah, at many yeah. scenes, he just does it all in his space. Then we now have a nerve center for purple, so there might be a tech center coming soon. And with it, we might see advanced units that would definitely turn around this game in favor of purple. But the window is small. Purple must get the advanced units soon. If not, if, if yellow starts pumping out from the pyramid of not, um, the cyborgs, this is game Ooh, over. The cyborgs will kill it. Because the cyborgs will also stop the awesome air units of Spring. Okay, this combat is a catastrophe for purple. He's going again for the harvesters. But the losses are going to be very heavy. Now he mixes in again light tanks, you see, against the seekers. And the, the scorpions are just killing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this fight might end. Oh, now, now he is chasing. Yeah, of course. He's going to win this big time. Maybe I should adapt my uh, my not base there. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this is a solid army. You're more playing not mods and fast versatile units which are also have a good purpose but not in, in heavy yeah. fighting oh um the harpies would have been very effective only against the seekers not against interlopers oh yes yes they have um anti-air the, these ones don't have anti-air they do if they upgrade for anti enter air they cannot, uh, but he upgraded teleport. So these interlopers can teleport short distances. Now the game. Oh, oh the, the swarm. Buzzer swarm. Buzzer swarm. 
it's a catastrophe. But only for infantry, so it's not too bad here. Oh, we see the cyborgs yes, now. No. So, but yellow does not have enough cash to pump out masses of cyborgs because they these would be also crucial to victory here. And and SM launchers, or have, am I mistaken? Mm. Back to the race. Yeah, but there's not too much PLD to break through here, PDL. So I think the infantry is really good addition. Yeah, yeah, this is this yellow has turned this around amazing. But um, there's still a gathering of uh, of purple in the left corner again. But by doing that, he's leaving his base. Basically, you mean on the top or what? Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I'm but this this is not going to, to change page. anything here. Ah, there are your SSM launches that you were yeah. anticipating earlier, right? Yeah, I think this blob here can maybe take out a few harvesters, but he's losing his whole base, so there's Oh yeah, yeah there, there are even some reinforcements down here that help out. And he's not even focusing, so he might not even take out a single harvester. Ah, there's one harvester down. That's it. And here we see just the destruction of the whole base. And there goes the surrender. Impressive game. Nice, but um, way more interesting than the last ones. Yeah, yeah. Also to completely different skill level. So oh, yes. I think this is somehow the... Um, how would you say the early finals, the 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 actual finals? Um, but yeah, we have more games. This matchup is not decided there. I think uh, no. Where is it? No. There's too many games here. This is what we have just seen, right? Mm, yes. And this is the next... No, wait. This is the next match. This we have seen. This is the next match. Let's go. Oh, again Rügenwalder. This is Rügenwalder. But both on top now. Yes. I think the screen player wanted a close position. Um, they flipped the coin. And uh, the winner of the coin flip could take the second spot on the map. So, um, because he, uh, with his interloper rush, of course, he wants the close spot. And I think Yellow did a pretty stupid job here picking this map. That is, even though the map is big, the positions are still quite close. So, for delaying the attack, the rush, the strong screen rush, it would have been smarter to pick uh, another map. Maybe two sides. <laughs> But we might see this later, and we also might see why this is not such a good idea, even though the the idea itself works. So here come the first interlopers, and Yellow has not built any defensive units. That's what, where... What? Is he building infantry? Not even infantry. That's so stupid. And it He's could stopping. have... It could be possible here that... Um, no, this looks like MCV, this long production time. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. First vehicle MCV. This oh. now come infantry, but this is. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, the infantry. Oh infantry. my god, this will. I mean, he's so lucky that the interlopers are not going yet because they will already do a lot of damage. Mm, but he's building defense. He, okay, here comes the MCV. Yeah, yeah, now defense are being pumped out. He has seen them. He has seen the interlopers, I'm pretty yeah. sure. Uh, yeah, the, the one scout that went out. I think died. earlier, yeah, 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 the, the, the my minigunners have seen, have seen them, and now he knew. Oh my God, the rush is the same crap as before, even worse. Because it's always the rush. Purple missed a good opportunity here. He could have just yeah. damaged some power plants and crippled his production speed. Now yeah, when I would say are... yellow already has enough units to stop this attack. Yeah, now, now. There before. comes true. Yeah, it was so stupid not to rush. Just killing a power plant just yeah, yeah, yeah. slows everything down. I think Purple thought he was not spotted. 
and he would just wants to have a critical mass so he just overruns him mm. and this is not going to work out here i guess in this way but no seekers here it's just interlopers yeah against the infantry the seekers would even be worse but now he's going in he's going in and this is not going this is not going to end well or the rocket launchers will deal the infantry army is big and the hover units, the small hover units, cannot overrun them. Yes, the infantry is dealing. So, yeah, this, this was a... He is trying to use his speed as an advantage and now go down and back up. Yeah, I mean, that's very nice. I mean, yeah. maybe yellow should be smart here and just attack himself and try to yeah. keep some harvesters alive and get some turrets up and fine. But that's not what yellow is doing here. With, I think yellow does not know that infantry is actually quite good against interlopers, even though it should not be good. Mm. And that's because interlopers have um, the energy weapon type instead of the energy light weapon type. Mm. So and the interlopers are better against tanks? A bit, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're actually yeah. quite good against right tanks. Right into the rocket launchers. Yeah. Mm. I mean, they can still do a good fight against infantry, but not as good as intended. And therefore, much better against tanks than intended. That's why the interloper yeah. rush is so strong. Ah, uh, now he's going in. Yeah, in yeah, yeah. Like, so fast. now he's just pumping he's through, going for the harvesters. Just going for the harvesters. He's not giving a fuck. I would have went for the um, power plants directly. I think... Uh, how can I see his power level? I think he's already out of power. Or? No, he's not. No, no, no. Impressive. The the, the laser. So, on this map, it might not be so rewarding to kill the harvesters because even getting a few harvesters back up gets you so much income. No. But there's again an insane yeah. amount of interlopers coming. Maybe now power plants? Yeah. Maybe now? Yes, guess, yes, now power plants. But here's some more. Um, we'll see. But. Yes. Building more MCVs. He's so confident he's going to win this in the long run. Wow. <laughs> he has a nerve center now. So we see more tech here. Ah, now we also have the gun turrets. That's a good decision, in my, in my opinion. Oh. But is he attacking or are there... Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Did you see oh, this? Yeah, the infantry in oh, the Tiberium. World. The infantry ah. died to the Tiberium toxic shit. That, yeah, that to do is the damage. loss for Yellow. Yeah, yeah, you, you Yellow, always Yellow could have defeated this army as well with the infantry, but not after running into the blue Tiberium. Yeah, you always forget that the blue Tiberium... Um, it's even does. worse. The bad, day. bad things to infantry. Yeah, the, the blue is... yeah. Because actually not that many maps have blue Tiberium. True, no. true. On all that glitters is just ore and, and um, green Tiberium trees. True. And oh, um, that one map that's like two sides but not two sides has blue Tiberium. Ah, the, the crossing. Crossing, yeah, it's called, yeah, yeah. This map. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome, uh, I mean, this is old. this is a pretty good idea to just go through the Tiberium field. Why not? Yes, yes, yes. It's a good idea. And I think this time it's working. I mean, he's now mm. trying to get the economy up here. Yeah. But I'm not so sure. Purple is already pumping out gravity stabilizers and we're going to see air units like crazy soon. Mm. And... Yellow is realistically only able to defend the screen air units when he has cyborg reapers with the rocket launchers from hell. But he doesn't. Um, he also doesn't have pyramid, right? No. He doesn't have what? The pyramid. No, no, I mean, this tech is absolutely catastrophe. Oh, he's now a temple back up. I think he knows it already, and that's why he's fast taking. Well, okay, it's looking better now. Maybe he's still giving... Oh, we don't see the... 
uh, units. We don't see the screen heavy airblob where he needs a rocket launcher. We see the storm riders. That's a very smart move of the screen player, I think. Just get the storm riders because the technique we talked about before. They are so much faster. They just take out the power plants and then. Ah, you see, he already anticipates the air units. He's getting the rocket launchers. But the Storm Riders are so much better against the Rocket Launcher Infantry. They, I mean, they cannot win a real fight, but he's not going to go for a real fight with these air units. He's just taking out power plants and just wreaking havoc. Oh my god, but the army of yellow is already devastating for purple. Yeah. This is not... This is like last game. There's now the Scorpion tanks. He won't be able to... To hold off this army without heavier he, units. He didn't think about building anything to to counter the yeah, scorpion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, against the scorpions, he should get something with reflector armor, maybe even tripods. Yeah. I don't know, but not not like this. Something with reflector. Or is it? Hmm? No, it, it just looked like he had um, something with reflector. Oh my god, this is so many Storm Riders. Oh my god. Oh yes, the Storm Riders will, will deal a lot of damage. I mean, he has an easy easy way into Storm Riders because he crippled his economy so much and he's recovering all the way. Hmm. Oh, he's so lucky the Buzzer Swarm is here and not, not here in this in this infantry blobs. I, I mean, he's expecting it. That's why we see so many Cyborg Reapers. He's expecting the air blob. And I mean, he should. And, uh, he should distribute them. I think, yeah, I mean, what he needs to do is just push, push, push and turn the tide around. Oh, now he's attacking. Where? With, uh, reapers. Oh, yeah, and yeah, he must do that. So now he's just like, yeah, okay, cool. You have infantry that is good against air, the reapers, nice, but I will just not take the fight. I yes. will just, I will just fly around and do my thing. Like the honey badger, he doesn't give a fuck. Yeah, yellow should have distributed the, the reapers in the base. Yeah, maybe. But he doesn't know that. And now, yeah, he takes all the tech uh, buildings. Also horrible. And he will go for the... Oh, there are some reapers. There's some reapers, but it's just not going to cut it. If he attacks the reapers with the storm riders, he's definitely... Uh, but Ooh, he goes for rider. the construction yards. That's not a good decision. Decision. The storm riders. The have temple to is a very good decision reload? because now, oh, sorry, what? Do the storm riders have to return to base? No, to reload? no, no. They have no. a weak. They have a weak attack, but they can go on forever. That wow, be changed. this oh, army oh. here is so good. Ah, but but it's uh, not going to do anything dying. against the storm rider. It's will it will stand no chance. Yeah, yeah, it's nothing it can do against these, all the Storm Riders. What he needs as soon as possible is anti-air buggies with lasers. Mm. Otherwise, there's, I mean, the, the rocket launch is not too bad, but that's what happens. They just fly away. They just harass more. Hey, this is an insane swarm of Storm Riders. For the buggies, I guess... Uh he needs um, the temple, right? Yes, he needs the temple. Uh, but the, you the, know... The pyramid the even. Stuff. Even the pyramid. And... But he also oh, needs the SAM sites, but I think it's... This one SAM site's not gonna cut it. He has no power <laughs> and he has lost the game. Yeah. There's no way for yellow to recover from this. It's just... So there will be a third match, I guess. Yeah. This is 1-1. One, one. The match before was a bit more uh, exciting, or I'd say it was more swingy. This one was just purple. Purple was dominating this. And the, the, the purple did what he missed in the last game. He tagged up and just changed his unit, so the counter was no longer a thing. But the Storm Riders are quite overpowered. If you, no. for example, compare them no. to, to I, I'd not say so. If if yellow just scouted properly and then built oh, no. SAM sites and stuff, it, it would have um, been okay. The, the, the Storm Riders compared to the Bungees, the Bungees have a similar, or the Bungee Bombers have a similar functionality. 
But the bungee bombers are really strong against heavy tanks, and the storm riders are complete crap against heavy tanks. Yeah, but the bungee bombers oh, always have to go and reload. True. Oh, he is now coming with not mods mm. um, for an air, I guess. And they are just vanilla mod not mods. Yeah, but I think this is the right decision. He just needs rockets. He just needs rockets yes. and as many as possible. But this is just not possible. It's like, oh my god, he has a tier 1 base, single construction yard, he has a second one. He can absolutely not recover from this. Do you see the amount of units per blast? This is just, just like holding on to life with his last grasp. Mm -hmm. But this is, there's no way. There goes down the power again, and that's that's it. And not much a good decision, but it also not gonna change the outcome of the game. Mm. I think not has a bit of a weakness also against the storm riders because you need heavy tanks that can shoot on air. That is a good counter. Yeah, that's what I always feel playing mm -hmm. against them. But you can just get the same sides, and they are already devastating for them. Yes, but you have. Uh, to get the, the same sides quite fast. True. Because uh, when he does a rush with them, like at the beginning of the game, you, you don't have the time to build same sides. But rocket launchers also help. If so, they are in the base. And this is the final match of um, the winner brackets um, semi-finals. One of the semi-final games. Mm. Karl Müller versus Lorus Fergenug. Again, but and now I, not with Nord. Now with France. Yeah, okay. And he, Lorus Fergenug plays France quite a lot more than Nord, right? What? You you play um, France more often than Nord. Uh, possibly. Not in this world championship. But in general. But let's see. Uh, Lord of here, 66 man, now scouts properly, learned from his mistakes. Yes. Here, I guess we're gonna see the exact same thing again, because it works so well. <laughs> and still, there has not been a, a proper counter has not been found yet. We yeah, can also but... speed up the early game a little bit. This is not going to show us new stuff. But I think there's a reason um, for why France is now chosen. Uh, yeah. I think Grand Canon is one reason. Um, Raptors is another reason because Ooh, yes. you the want Raptors. something. You want something to take down these storm riders. Um, France does not have the prism cannon. The prism cannon would be a absolutely great interloper counter. Prism tanks, not so much. They are okay, but also quite squishy. So. I'm curious what he will build against the interloper crazy madness. I mean, he's already building um, turrets. But yeah, yeah I mean, he, he knows he knows where the turrets have to go, right. where the, where the harvesters are, because that's that's where the interloper is gonna spend their time. Yeah, that's what I wanted to say. Exactly, but... exactly. I mean, he uh, yellow has definitely learned from the mistakes and from this crazy tactic that purple is deploying here. Yeah. It's exactly the same, just different position on the map where the units are gathered, but mm. it's so similar. He's even more pushy now for the second base. He knows maybe he needs the extra but refineries. He, he's going down, he's, he's going up. Maybe you can slow down it now. Oh, let's see. Three construction yards, four construction yards. Purple this. is now expanding faster. True, and both have four construction yards. Yes. Both are exploding more. Yes. We see the first Grand Canon with the, the medium tanks. So, Yellow is definitely scared of what happened last game, and now the defenses are on a completely different level. And I think this might be the reason why he chose France. Choose, chose, whatever. More, more colony ships, more construction yards, more ex. More expanding, purple wants to go boom. Oh, will purple go the water route and uh, you attack think he, from 
Okay. Yeah, it's a very long path to just go with the Hava units over water to come from the bottom, but... Oh, it's, it's maybe an option. Yeah, it's not sure. It's not totally wrong. Okay, there goes up the op purifier. This means yellow is now in the T tier 4. Has arrived at T4. Now this one, let's just have a look here. This one just gives him an awesome vision and yeah, we yeah. have already will, will he do tripods. Something? What? Will he do something or is it I, I think the raptors to... just just for yellow to understand what's going on. What's going to happen next? What is the plan of purple? Because there's just too many variables. He could go the Storm Riders again, he could go the heavy airplop. So and now he's building runes and tripods, so completely different setup now. And it's incredible. Yeah. The possibilities of screen are so big. Also PLD tripods now. Yes, yes, yes. This army is going to devastate these medium tanks that can do nothing. Prism tanks are nice, but yeah, but but the the prism tanks uh, will deal quite a lot of damage against the PLD tripods, I guess. Yeah, yeah, not too bad. That's true. Oh, is yellow now base calling? Yeah, I think he's he's coming forward. I mean, with with the crawl canon here, his base crawling is not a bad idea. But he needs more units. He just needs more units. I don't know what what does our craft say. Yeah, yeah, the purple army is so much bigger. Earnings of yellow are also smaller. I think and he's a bit lacking war factories here to match the production speed of purple. Purple is already building air. Purple is already freaking out. There's so much shit going but on. Big air and not just. Yeah, it's, yeah. this is. Uh, yeah. Oh, but it's building like crazy. Yeah. Oh, shit. This is the speed. It's going fast. This is the speed of these 2,000, 3,000 credits units. It's coming out like infantry. I see, I see. And yellow is not really knowing what it's doing, and there goes Ooh, what I said. What I said, but not as you said it. He just moved the base over there, right? Mm -hmm. And now it's building from there. That's even worse. Oh, that's such a great engagement of purple. He's just taking him from both sides. Oh, purple now dominates most of the map. Yeah, but it's not necessary. I think both these fields still provide a crap load of resources. Oh yes, that's true. Ah, uh, oh yes, that's pain. Okay, now we see some prison fortress with PLD coming in, so important. But what... Yeah, okay, this is... he might win this. But the question is, what can he do against the air units? I don't think the IFVs will cut it here. He needs Raptors and he needs Raptors soon and he needs many Raptors. Oh yes. I mean... The Prison Fortress are nice. Yeah, they are absolutely devastating the interlopers. But the airplop is so big, oh my god. The airplop is so big. Krokano is also doing a good job, but that's not what he needs now. He needs anti-air. And he's building this from two, three airfields. I think he's completely surprised by how crazy big this this blob is. Mm. Then here come even more crap. It's insane. It's absolutely insane what Purple is <laughs> pumping out here. And these few raptors are great, but not gonna make it. He needs so much more. Many more. He now has the satellite up, I guess. Sees the whole map. Now he brings down all these prison fortresses. They pack a punch, and I think. I think, yeah, he's, he's easily going to drive off these tripods. And even the base, if he keeps pushing with this army. But this side here, oh, there's a visual bug with a Grand Canon. Vive la France. There's no it's way he's going to stop the air blob here in, with the, in this situation. It's insane. And here, does he have PLD tripods be no, below it? Below this blob? 
Yeah, he has. He has some. That's already enough to stop many rockets from the Raptors. Yeah. There goes the Raptor. Oh, and no power for France. Yeah, this is insane. I think he should also build rocket infantry here. Just why not? Just you need any all all rockets that can be launched into this blob, all of them. Mm. And this, if this game stays like this, yellow will lose. Yellow, Lordus Vergenug, 66 man, will go down in the loser bracket. And Carl M, purple player, is going to be in the winner brackets finals. But I actually didn't see um, that kind of air blob for, uh, for Carl in, a, in quite a long time. Oh, wow. this is his absolute default strategy. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's the default, but I, I haven't seen it. Really? No. Um, for quite a time. Ooh, uh, what, what's happening? What happened to the harvesters? Why do they look so... Uh, this ugly? Chrono Miners. What, these are ugly? Oh, they, these are quite ugly. Yeah, why? I, I think I, they don't fit to the, to the art style of them. Um, they have too many yeah. details, probably. Yes, yes, and they uh, are... These are actually high-res units, and they are downscaled to half the pixel size. Yeah, that's why they... And they are awesome. meant to be used in the game when the game goes high-res, and double, like, double the resolution per cell. And these are already ready for that situation. They look like shit. I think they're not too bad. I think they, they, have they don't... A, a bit dull, dull colors, maybe. Yes. Very dark and dirty. Why is this raptor it landed over here? What's what's going on? Oh no, there there are quite a lot of raptors. But the raptors just do so bad against these carrier inter uh, invader or how are they called the small drones? I think invader or so. Because the rockets just fly against these small fucking drones and then they kill the raptors. Do you see how how ridiculous low the impact was of all these raptors. And that's why you, you have to keep the raptors all the time from shooting on small targets in the front. You have to make them fire into the bulk. It's absolutely horrible. Fighting the screen air blob is not fun. Definitely not. And I think yellow has lost this already. Oh, that means Carl will move to the finals. Yeah, I mean... His main base is completely destroyed. He's building up here again. His earnings are down there. His army might be a fraction of what Carl M has. It's just like the screen blob is just moving forward so slowly. Yeah, he's dead. He's very dead. The raptors are really hard to control. Mm. They most of the times... They are good, they are strong, but you need so many. And the, the, and this... you have to guide them, because there are so many, so many air units just yep, yep, going around. But you have to focus on the main, on the exactly. big ones. Yellow is not willing to give up now, but he should. It's over. And losing this game and going to the loser's bracket is not a projection he wants to accept here, but now he did. Yeah. Okay. So. Oh, he even was able to catch up in the late part of the game with the echo, but the army value of purple was just growing all the time. And. If Lordus Fagnook is making his way back into the final of the finals where the loser bracket meets the winner bracket again, he's going to have some good answers to this crazy screenplay style. Mm -hmm. And I'm out for today. It was a pleasure. Bye.